Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is actually, in fact, 11.01. Um, so barely morning, but I have been awake since before nine o'clock. I've just been chilling. Um, I am gonna head off to the Cotswolds and spend a night in Spog. So I'm gonna hit the road now. Um, we're going to a similar sort of area that I was in the other day. I have some plans. We're gonna go to an arboretum so I can check out some trees for my tree competition with Imo. Uh, yeah, and just have a little look at some of the villages around the Cotswolds. Not really sure where I'm going to park tonight, but that's van life. You just wing it, find somewhere, it'll be fine. Um, so yeah, let's hit the road. I am a little bit early for my appointment um, and I drove past this place yesterday so I thought I this might be a good spot to sleep in it is a reasonably busy road but I you're right off the road and I would imagine that at night it's not that busy if I'm honest there is a marina and there's also the canal um, towpath so I wanted to go and have a little look and see what it was like. And since I'm early, I've parked up in the spot that I did see and thought, if I need somewhere to sleep, this would be a good spot. And as it is, there's actually another like stealth van parked up here already. That's, I don't know whether it's been here all night or not, but there's definitely another van here that looks like a camper um, in a stealth manner. It's got, it doesn't look like a van, but it's not obviously a camper either but there's elements of it that makes you go hmm you're a camper so i'm going to put my jacket on because it is a little bit changeable the weather and just take you along the towpath and um we're we'll just going to have a little look around this place i'm not going to tell you where it is because obviously if i decide to come and stay here tonight um and i get this video up tonight for safety reasons i shouldn't advertise where i am as a solo female on my own right let's go for a walk and whilst i'm walking along the side of the road here i found a wild cherry which i know is in my book ready to mark off on my list yeah wild cherry looking very beautiful i found another maple and i found a sycamore starting to uh, grow its leaves All the bulrushes on the other side. some decent solar going on there There's plenty of hawthorn along here. England seems to have a lot of hawthorn. This one looks like another cherry. There's quite a few cherries along here, which is nice. Especially if you live on the boats. 
I never know if I pronounce it right. I'm going to say elder because it's pronounced, it's spelt E-L-D. And there is an older as well, I believe. Um, this one, I've just rubbed my fingers on it and smelt my hands. It takes me back to my childhood. I spent a lot of time climbing these, obviously much bigger than this one. Um, they tend to go very green when they get big. A lot of um, sort of mildewy type stuff on them. And the smell rubs off on your clothes. And honestly, I don't like the smell of it at all. And I hated the smell of it as a child. Um, but it didn't stop me climbing the trees. And uh, yeah, so that smell is ground into my head because I smelt it a lot growing up. Yeah, that's going to be on my hands for the rest of the day now. Oh, what are these? What are these? Doesn't that look lovely with the dark against the green and then against a reflection in the water? How cool is that? That is lesser pond sedge, if I'm getting it right. Hello fly. There's loads of it along here. Look at that reflection, doesn't that look lovely? And we're by water, so therefore we are bound to have a willow. I think this one is actually a crack willow rather than a weeping willow, I think. A little bit of a weir type thing there with the water dripping off the edge. Oh, and someone's having a bonfire. Right, let's go and have a look at the locks. And what I didn't notice until I turned around because it was above me is a horse chestnut. Be lots of conkers here at some point in the more willow there's always so much willow by the riverbank always oh there's a little building through there i don't know if you can see it looks a bit derelict i wonder what that is can't get to it I'd be going round in circles, you're doing really well. Like a plug hole, that's very clever. Like a Doing giant bathtub. No. That's okay. That's okay. No, I've enjoyed it. 
sunny day. Yeah. In the rain, I can imagine it's not so much fun. You have to go with slur, slur on in the rain. Yeah. Oh, do you? <laughs> oh, no. Let's mark off what I found down by the canal. So there was a cherry, there was a sycamore, which I've already marked off. There was a hawthorn, which I've already marked off. Sycamore, hawthorn, crack willow, elder. Well, there was a maple, but I think I've already marked the maple tree off as well. So... Common buckthorn. Oh, bird cherry. Well, do I know it's an actual bird cherry? No, it's a wild cherry, isn't it? I would have said it was a wild cherry. Oval leaves. Spear shaped. Spear shaped. I would have said they were spear shaped. 15 points. Remember, 15 points and oh no see that's an elder elder has elderberries is that the one i'm is that the one i'm thinking of elder is that the one i think that's the one elder it's elderberries yes so what did I say? That was 15 plus 10 points. That's 25 points. 25 points. 25 points. Hawthorn I've already marked off. I've done sycamore. Did sycamore. Did sycamore. Crack willow. 25. That's 35. Was it a goat willow? No, it was a crack willow. Definitely a crack willow, looking at it. So that's 35 points. 35 points. I've got another 35 points. I'm going to write 35 points on there. 35 points from by the river. Let's go and see what I can get at the Arboretum. I know I'm going to miss a load. I'm just going to try and film as many as I can. And hopefully I'll get them all on camera. This is Future Pip. Future Pip from Sunday morning, well, nearly Sunday lunchtime, if I'm entirely honest. And yes, I am still in bed. And there is a very good reason for that. And yes, I look scruggy. And there's a very good reason for that, too. I'd like to know that as well. You'd like to know the I very like good that, reason, would you? Well. Why am I here when I should be in my van, yes? Yes. Right. Well, all will become clear in the next episode of this vlog. I'm going to have to break it into two parts. Uh, actually three parts because I'll do the Arboretum completely separately but the Arboretum will go up tomorrow the second part of today's vlog will go up today to explain why I am here and not in Spog and why I have had a very long night and why I ended up in a police interview room so yes look out for part two later today and all will be revealed thank you for watching